I'm Chris Burns, and welcome to The Network, where we connect into a matrix of newsmakers to get to the heart of an issue. Watch out. They've got to answer in 25 seconds or less, or else. Let's take a look at that issue right now. One of the fathers of the European Union, Jean Monnet, said, if we had to remake Europe, it would begin with culture. As Europeans struggle among themselves over a financial crisis, and as the world's movie industry attends the Cannes Film Festival, how much could the lack of EU solidarity be due to the lack of a common culture? If Europeans could laugh, sing, and cry together to the same homegrown films and music, would that help create a common European identity and help solve a crisis as deep as the one today? Is global read American or Hollywood entertainment undermining that effort? Should there be Europe-wide quotas and more subsidies? One example, the EU is aiding smaller cinemas to switch to digital equipment, cutting costs for filmmakers to deliver in digital format instead of celluloid. This on condition they show European films. Should the EU and member states intervene, or should they stay out of contemporary culture and leave it to the free market and the consumer's choice? Now, wired into this edition of the network is outside the Cannes Festival Palace, Edouard Weintraub, who's head of the Director's Fortnight at the Cannes Film Festival. The Director's Fortnight is also a partner of the Prix Lux Prize here at the Parliament. He's a former film critic for the French newspaper Libération. He keeps a blog on the paper's website called Sinoc. At the Euronews Brussels Bureau, Juliette Duré, coordinator and curator of the Beaux-Arts Cinema in Brussels. Before that, she headed the Wallonie-Bruxelles Image, which promotes French-speaking Belgian film abroad. And here at the European Parliament in Brussels, Michael Bartholomew, former European head of the Motion Picture Association of America, or MPAA. He's now an entertainment and telecom consultant based in Brussels. Now, question to all of you. Let's, uh, let's start uh, with uh, Edouard. Do you agree with Jean Monnet and that we should do it all, if we could do it all over again, we'd start with culture? Yes, it's sure that uh, to have a common language, it's uh, a necessity to begin uh, with culture. And uh, that's what uh, we are doing uh, with cinema, which is a major and contemporary uh, manner of... Uh, Okay. Culture, of making culture. Okay. Uh, Juliette, uh, y yes, it is. Uh, cinema is, could perhaps be the most powerful uh, driver in a common culture. Uh, so do you think Jean Monnet is right? Yes, I, I do think that uh, Jean Monnet was right, actually, and is, is still right, that Europe has really to take care and to really draw its attention, maybe more attention to culture, cinema okay. and education. Uh, Michael, but that common culture at the moment seems to be uh, American film, doesn't it? I think probably the Americans, uh, un unfortunately <laughs> still today, command uh, a great uh, percentage, 85% okay. of the uh, box office in Europe. And right. uh, there's a, a huge amount of problems in, in European film uh, being okay. distributed across borders. Now, Ed Edouard, how do we solve that problem? It's very difficult because uh, one of the main problems is the diversity of languages and cinema uh, is made with languages, uh, with words. And so uh, uh, the problem, if, if we want to resolve this problem in making only uh, English-speaking uh, films, it won't uh, work at all. So okay. that's, uh, we have no solution exactly for that uh, problem. Juliette, do, do you possibly see a solution? Maybe the idea of subtitling, would, 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 would that really solve it or is there more than that? Is, are certain things lost in translation, like humor? You know, 6% of the film produced in Europe are going uh, in another European country, so in another okay. country, let's say. Le okay. Yeah. So meaning that uh, we haven't find, uh, we haven't found yet the solution, but I guess that uh, if Europe uh, put some money in education, culture and cinema in order to distribute better, to give a okay. really su sustain, it would, okay. uh, it would help. Okay, let's, let's shift over to Michael now. I, I must point out that you're British born, but you, you did represent the MPAA. Uh, how do we stop this Hollywood steamroller? Should we use uh, subsidies? Should we uh, use quotas, perhaps? 
Well, Chris, that's a very thorny question, but in the short, I think uh, subsidies are critical for European uh, cinema production. There's just not enough money available. Um, but quotas are something else. You can't legislate what people uh, want to see on, on the screen. Uh, you can't force people to go and see a film simply because it's French or German. Uh, Edouard, uh, what do you think about this? I think, for example, the situation is very different from one country to, uh, to the un another. Uh, the situation in France, for example, where there is a large audience uh, which is uh, going to see uh, a lot of uh, French movies is very different from uh, the situation of uh, Germany. Okay. Um, I think that a movie, for example, like uh, Intouchable, uh, has been a great success everywhere where it was shown. So the problem is maybe uh, in the in the movies itself and not uh, okay. in the subsidies or something else. Okay, uh, Juliette, is the problem in the movies yes. itself? We don't have a star system in Europe. We have a star system in 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 the countries. In the in in the we have a na there is a national identity, but it's very difficult. To, to find a solution, but I think that um, Europe can help in distributing um, the films uh, in other countries, other okay. European countries. Michael, I'd like to ask you and, and, and the rest of you as we wrap this up, do you think that a common culture can help to solve this crisis we face today? I think what Europe really needs now is a much stronger distribution system uh, which makes it easy for films to travel across borders. And until that happens, you still find the American films dominating 85% of the, of the theatrical market here. Um, secondly, okay. there's more uh, funds that are needed to dub films uh, and uh, subtitle films, and there the European Union can be immensely helpful through its okay. various programs like media and, and others. Juliette, what do you think? Can we, can we solve a crisis like this one with a common culture? Yeah, I think, but I think there's a European uh, common culture uh, based on the national identities. And of course, um, there are means, and I think uh, I agreed uh, I really agree on the fact that uh, to, uh, re to, um, to make a better distribution system throughout Europe would be one, a part of the solution. And let's, let's uh, give Edouard the, the final word. I might note that there are a lot of American films in your lineup this year. Do you think a common culture can help to solve this kind of crisis today? Uh, I'm sure that uh, if uh, the, the European politicians knew that uh, there is a very interesting new wave in Greek cinema, it would be uh, easy, uh, it would be make easier uh, the, the way uh, the, the politicians look at, to Greece, for example, because uh, Greece has one of the uh, most modern mov uh, movie uh, business now in, uh, in Europe. That's a very interesting sure point. Thank you. Edouard, thank you very much, and thanks to all of you. That's all the time we've got for now. I'd like to thank our guests, Edouard Weintraub, Juliette Duré, and Michael Bartholomew. I'm Chris Burns, and until next time, thanks for connecting with The Network.